having the ability to talk to my professors and reach out to them for help and have like that support system is really what's made the difference for me. I think it's helped me excel and be the best version of myself possible, but I don't think it would have been possible had I been in a bigger environment with a bigger university, it probably would have been a little harder for me. I love HCC, like not to say the least. It's been easier to, I think, transition for myself. Like I said, being a non-traditional student and transitioning from like not being in school for eight plus years. Well, I started HCC during the pandemic. Um, I realized I needed to get my ducks in a row and it was all in or nothing to me. So I started during the summer, which was very hard to transition. Being a non-traditional student, being my age and having a child as well, it was extremely hard for me. But I decided if I didn't do it now, I was never going to do it. So I just started. At HCC, I'm getting my associates in science, but I am planning to transfer and continue uh, going to college for possibly mechanical engineering or aerospace engineering. Well, last summer, uh, Ms. McCormick had told me about a research opportunity. I had no idea what that was. No one had ever told me about research being part of like your experience at college. I thought that was kind of something that only real life scientists did. So when Ms. McCormick explained to me the opportunity to do research, I was like, okay, I'll apply. I mean, I don't lose anything applying. Um, I didn't forever think in a hundred years that I'd get selected to do that. So when I did actually get selected to do research, it was a very amazing experience. I have quite a, I guess roadmap of where I want my life to be in the next couple of years. I've just always really liked rockets. It's like the joke, you know, it's like not rocket science or whatever. I've always been like, oh, I wanna know what rocket science is. I do see myself in the future working uh, for NASA, um, specifically like renewable energy, clean forms of energy, that kind of stuff, just because I want to build a brighter future for the people that's coming after me and you know, having a daughter, having children kind of makes you look into the future and it's like, what kind of world do I want to, what kind of world do I want to build for my children? My biggest advice, I think, for anyone that's going into college is to be humble, come in with an open mind and just be ready to engage. I thankfully had like extremely good like mentors and very good leaders, um, women who not only are they empowering, but they're there for you too. And that's, I think that made a great difference in my journeys.